go. We're here today with Lynch and Phil from Option RV. We want to just uh, ask some in-depth um, questions at this time. Last day of the show, how have you been? Yeah, no, it's been good. We've had a successful show, which is good. So, yeah, it's... Uh, we're stoked. Yeah, we're stoked. <laughs> we're stoked. Yeah, yeah. We're Happy stoked with the with results yeah, and, the, and the feedback from everyone walking through the show. Well, that's fantastic. Yeah. Now, can you talk to us about your product? Obviously, you sell caravans. Yep. So, talk to me about your caravans and, and how they're made. Yeah, so basically, um, we've been around for 10 years. This year, celebrating our 10-year anniversary. Um, you know, we're a family-owned and operated company uh, that are hands-on on the vans, building the vans. We've, we've uh, you know, we've built these vans with passion and pride. Um, and, and it shows in the quality of work that we do and obviously with the success that we've had over the last 10 years. So yeah, no, we're, uh, you know, we're very passionate about what we're doing, let's be fine. Um, but yeah, no, no, we're all good. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we love coming up with new ideas and yep. new yeah. models and that yeah. sort of thing. So yeah. how do you come up with your ideas? What's the oh, process? We, just, we like to keep the vans um, that just are proven and you. tested. Um, and you know, moving forward, using new products that come out, and obviously the ones that work. Um, things we like to keep. We like the saying, "If it's not broke, don't change it." Yeah. So what we do usually is just go with the modern looks and stuff like that, but try and keep the vans. The, the vans haven't really changed a lot over the last three to four years. It's just more decals, more color uh, selections that are out there, and obviously getting a lot of feedback from our customers yeah. that have had vans for three, four years, and a few of them have then upgraded after a couple of years and told us, you know, I, I love my last van, but I wish it had this, this or it should have yeah. had that. So, so we you take really on a lot listen. Of, yeah, yeah, we take we a lot do. of feedback. Take, take a lot and of also feedback work together with Caravan World, you know, Luke and Brad and the guys from Caravan World. Right. They're the ones that get a lot of the feedback, you know. People walk into the yard and didn't buy an option because of this reason, you know. If they if they come up three or four times, then we look at maybe, you know, doing that, that particular thing in the van to, to not let that customer walk away. So, yeah. All right. So what's your favourite van? Oh, I'd have to be the tribute. <laughs> tribute. Yeah, have this to be is the tribute. tribute. The story yeah. behind it. Yeah. Um, so talk to us about the, the story behind this tribute. All right. So this van here was um, put together in tribute of my brother Steve, in, uh, who passed away in 2015 from brain cancer. Uh, Steve was, you know, a part of this company as much as what I am. My mum and dad are, and brother Damien. Um, so yeah, it was it was good to to get everyone involved from the industry and put in. You know, we had other manufacturers get involved, George from Lotus got in and, and, and did what he had to do and to help us out and same yep. as uh, you know the guys from Wonderland um, as well as every other uh, supplier in the industry. So, wow, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah, but there's a lot of uh, yeah, a lot of pride and, and love went into the build of this model, so yeah, yeah. it'd have to be a tribute. And Lynch, yours? Tribute as well, definitely a tribute, yeah. Right. Just the way we watched it get built and yeah. just all the love and yeah. All the workers put in their hard work and that, like they do with every other van, but I think this one just had a special touch to it. Fantastic. 